Blessings, soul family. Happy Friday. How's everyone feeling today with these strong solar energies coming through and uh, the new moon? Um, I know that I've been feeling the need to really retreat inward, plant some seeds, reflect on my goals and my personal endeavors and spend some more time just outside in nature, spending more time with my family, playing more with my kids, doing art with my kids. And for some reason, I've been baking a lot. So let me know if you're feeling any of these things more strongly than usual or what else you may be feeling and how you're integrating these energies and managing any symptoms that you might be experiencing, because I know we're all experiencing this differently. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about eye health, specifically to make our eyes sparkle and shine and pop. We have an exciting package coming out next week that will really accentuate the eyes. So stay tuned for that. But before I get into talking about some tips to wake up the eyes and make them sparkle, I want to share some fun facts uh, about these really super important parts of our bodysuit. Okay, so the eyes are the window to the soul. Um, and we've, we've talked about this before, but to go a little bit deeper, the eyes actually consist of the element of fire, which represents transformation. It's that digestive fire that helps us to perceive. So they're literally magic. They see things in the outside world. They take in information, turn things upside down so that we can interpret it. And then that's how we perceive things and we perceive the world around us. So here are some fun facts and new perspectives to ponder. In follow-up to last week's spring cleaning video, I thought it would be best to mention that tears really clear our perception. They're healing, they're purifying, and that's why culturally in society, because it's more acceptable for women to cry, it could not jokingly be a big reason why women tend to live longer than men. So in native traditions, you're actually said to become a man when you exchange your boy tears for man tears. Interesting, right? So real heartfelt emotional tears are considered to be a healing nectar for the whole community. And truly, what would heal the planet right now would be for all men to have a really good cry for like five years, the planet would be better. It would be healed. And then fun fact number two, did you know that different emotions bring a different chemistry for tears? Therefore, they all taste different depending on your emotions. So tears of joy will taste sweet. They'll be scanty. They'll be cool. And they'll come from the outer part of the eye. Tears of anger will come from the center of the eye. They'll taste sour and they'll be hot. And then tears of frustration, grief, and sadness will come from the inner corner of the eye and they'll have a bitter taste. Cool, right? So now let's get into caring for our eyes. I just wanted to share those fun tips with you. So our eyes convey to the world our message. You may have been able to say things before without even using a word with just your eyes, right? They tell stories, they show emotions, and they radiate our passion, our dharma, and our purpose when they're vibrant and healthy. So when our eyes are lacking luster, we very, we very may well be feeling... Ah, I can't talk. We very, we very well may be feeling a lack of enthusiasm for life. So firstly, keeping the eyes hydrated is most important. If we have dry eyes, it might be because our environment, but it could also be a clear indication that you're lacking hydration and your tissues are not being hydrated. The idea, the sap of life is to keep our insides moist and lubricated. And so if they're not, our eyes will reveal that. So tips for hydration for the eyes are to just make sure you're sipping on warm water with lemon or lime throughout the day, or you can drink coconut water or green tea. Just add more of that to your day and make sure you're getting your omega fatty acids. So salmon, flax, chia seeds, uh, walnuts, 
And then next, try an eye wash with rose water in the morning. You can get a cute little uh, goblet looking thing. Usually at any pharmacy, you fill it with some natural rose water and then place it in your eye and, and allow the rose water into it. Um, and then lastly, depending on the climate that you live in, if the air is super dry or you're working in a dry environment, maybe you can use a humidifier um, near you to keep a little moisture in the air. There's some that you can buy, I think, to put on your desk. Um, and then take eye breaks. If you're staring at a computer screen for long periods of time, it's a good idea to take a break every 20 minutes or so and just close your eyes for like a minute and just allow them to rest and rehydrate. So just reminders, gentle, gentle reminders to rest your eyes. Um, next, puffiness. So green tea bags and cucumbers are great for reducing puffiness, especially if they're cold. So take some time to place your steep tea bags and cucumbers in the fridge overnight before you use them. Uh, these things uh, are tried and true. They have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Um, so they're super helpful. But most important for pup puffy eyes is sleep. So ensuring that you're getting an adequate amount of sleep every night will prevent puffiness and dark circles. Um, so put away electronic devices at least an hour before bed. Take deep breaths before bed. Maybe try meditating before drifting off. And then also um, sleeping with your head slightly elevated will really help fluid from accumulating. And so if you're not sleeping with a pillow right now, um, it might be worth you know, investing in one that's comfortable for you and giving that a try. And last but not least, eye massage. I'm gonna demonstrate that for you here. This can be used to really reduce puffiness and wake up your eyes. Uh, before you apply makeup. And all you need is um, your fingers and a teaspoon. And I just realized I forgot to bring my teaspoon, but that's okay. I will just tell you what to do. It's super simple. So here we go. So eye massage, you want to make sure your hands are nice and clean. And you want to make sure that you're doing this before you apply your makeup. So uh, just, you don't even need to rub your hands together. It's just a habit for me. Um, but what you are going to do is take your index finger and your middle finger like so, and you're going to start right here, just under the eyebrows and just gently tapping around the eye. So you'll start kind of along that bony area, like on your cheekbones, and then you're going to want to circle the eyes at least three times, kind of going more inward and closer to the eyelids as you go. And this is just gonna help to increase blood circulation and to reduce puffiness. Uh, and then lastly, you're gonna wanna take your teaspoon and just press it right about here just press that nice cool teaspoon on either side of the top bridge of your nose. And then again, take that teaspoon and press it more inward on the bottom inner corner of your eyes. And it's especially helpful if your teaspoon is cold. So you might wanna keep a teaspoon in the fridge or the freezer so that you could just quickly pull it out in the morning um, and use it when you're doing this eye massage. So I hope that you enjoyed today's episode and you were able to get some good information from it. Uh, and if you're not trying any of these tips already, go ahead and give them a try and stay tuned for our um, I package that's coming out next week. Uh, super exciting um, products available to you there to really help to accentuate and pop those eyes. Thank you so much for joining us today. Lots of love. Namaste.